Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. In this video, we're going to transition this project into a completely solo project for now. I bought a 2002 Sunlight Camper, which needed basically everything done to the roof. It's taken a very long time to get everything custom done with just me and my dad, and now it's just me. In my videos, it may seem like the things that I get stressed and stuff about are just minor little things, but to me they're a big deal because I'm not experienced in building or rebuilding or doing roofing or anything of the sort. This is all a new learning experience for me. And although I have traveled the USA for the past two years in my Jeep Cherokee, this undertaking is a lot different. Driving a small Jeep versus driving a huge Tundra with a huge thousand pound camper on the back of it is a lot different. So welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you're not and follow along on the adventures. I love having you here. Let's get on with this adventure, whatever you want to call it. All right, I forgot all my cameras today, but I'm just gonna film my phone. We got the torque lift tie downs on. This is the pin that holds it on. And then we put the thing in and put the pin through and then you take them off whenever I'm not using the camper. And now I just need to get a proper set of tie downs or um, turnbuckles. So we're gonna put this on and we're gonna try and load it up into my truck. The rest of the stuff I will be doing all alone. Well, there's always more to do, so we're gonna also replace these because I got some off my wish list, so might as well do it now before we leave so the top doesn't fly off. We're gonna do that, we replaced that, and then hopefully we can put it on. I didn't get to take the camper yesterday, and we also needed to put in a mat and some two by sixes. So I'm going to head over to Tractor Supply and then a hardware store to get a board and hopefully find a horse mat. I hope that that works because there's a good solid three fourths to an inch that's underneath the camper that needs to be made up for. So I'm hoping that maybe even half an inch, I'm not sure, but there's, there's a little gap underneath that needs to be filled with something and I think a mat would be the best bet. And then if we slide some 2x6s in between the where the wheels are, I think we can have a really secure fit. So I'm going to head over there now and see if they have something affordable. I don't know how much a horse mat is, but I looked it up on Amazon how much a truck bed one would be. That's like 3 fourths inch and it's over $200. So I looked it up on Tractor Supply and they said that they have them for $50. Fingers crossed, let's go check it out. I'll tell you one of the worst things about this is having to crank this up and down. Yesterday I cranked it up and down like so many times to get it right just to see if everything fit because we were trying to figure out measurements and stuff. And oh my goodness, I can't even describe how like my body is sore today from doing it. And I have the impact um, drill wrench thing, but I don't have the right attachment for these things. I had to figure out how to get that. So now I have to, I have to do this manually for the time being. Uh, I always forget which way is which. So I need to put this up a little bit more. It's kind of shaky. Because we have the mat now. Everything like creaks when you do it. It's very scary. This thing gives me so much fear and anxiety and everything, but I'm gonna conquer it or sell it. So my dad is cutting the, he cut the wood for the things on the sides and we have the mat down now. I raised it up a little bit more so we put it in and this is just the tightest fit. So it's quite intimidating. So it's, it comes so close to the pool. I don't think I could do it by myself, honestly. Slowly. Slow. Mm -hmm. 
Stop! Stop! Wait! Wait, did... I think this might hit on the... This might hit on this pole. Very, very slightly. I don't know how I'm ever going to do that. Yeah, but I cannot even... That's in that so close. So close. This cranking thing, I hate. I already hate it. It's so time consuming. But if you look with the, the tie downs right here, it's so flush with it. It's so tight. But what it will do is prevent this from happening again. This is what happened when we brought it home. We have this propped up still a little bit because we're cutting wood pieces to put into here. And this mat works perfectly. We put on some um, ratchet straps for now. These are not permanent. I'm gonna see you take off. See this thing in action. Let me see the straight. Granny driving this thing. Alright. Everything seems fine. All systems go. Feeling good. So, um, yeah, I'm doing it. This is what it's gonna be like. Uh, everywhere I go, it's gonna take way longer to get to, but you have to sacrifice time for comfort sometimes. by myself and it was perfectly fine nothing went wrong um, I'm hoping to get some turnbuckles but other than that she's secure whoever said that I couldn't make it fit this truck was wrong she it actually fits quite nice I did go in today and I found a little puddle of water water on the inside this whole channel should just be Tori finds water damage 
at this point. Where's the water damage is what this new series should be called because it's everywhere. That's the answer. So not where's Waldo, where's the water damage? I don't really know where it could be from. My goal today is just to get this set up. Now that it's here, I'm going to start working on it by myself, which is intimidating. So having it over at my dad's was a big hassle because it's a 20 plus minute drive. So driving 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back just to work on it became a big ordeal. Plus my dad and I have very different personalities and working habits. So it just, it wasn't something that we could do for long term. Plus he has other things that he needs to do with his life, you know? So um, it just wasn't good in that regard. I made the choice to finish it myself or maybe I'll get help down the line. I don't know. But it's just, this is mentally and emotionally and everything more sustainable and better for me to do. I can walk out my back door and just start working. It's gonna be more trial and error, but we are already doing trial and error. So that's why I brought it over here and I'm going to try to do this myself. Propane. I need to get a new propane tank or refill the old one. Um, I'll, I'll get to try all of this stuff out, but first, my new goal, like I said, is to put this down, clean the canvas, figure out where that water leak is coming from, reseal. I got this from my wish list. Thank you. And I'm going to put a coat of this on, but first I'm going to recalk it all again. So I got it down and lifted up. Whenever I opened it the other day, I'm like, wow, it smells so bad in here. And I was, I was absolutely gutted because I thought that that smell is coming from the water coming in. And I'm like, that is such a strong, pun, 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 pungent smell. Like it doesn't smell like it didn't, I'm like, this smells like sewage or something, but that's not what was causing the smell. I just wanted to show you guys what I found while I was starting to sweep. Very random. There is a dead mouse in my table, like look, this is what the other one looks like. It's just just a little circle. There's nowhere to go in there. I don't know how this mouse got in here or what it was, what its plan was, but whatever its plan was, it just died. So I need to take this out with some gloves. Can't say this is the funnest business in the world, but I am very grateful that my camper doesn't actually smell like that. Oh, there are maggots. <laughs> oh, gross, that's so gross. Yeah. R.I.P. little guy. We're gonna clean that right out with some cleaning products. Like, don't worry. Do a proper before the inside of renovation, just to show what it looks like. So we can have an after. Okay, so we finally begin doing this stuff all by myself. I think I'm going to start with taking the rest of the screws out of the canvas and cleaning all the mildew off the canvas. I have some different tools for this. I got some of this a while ago, some mil mold and mildew stain remover. I also got some off, some off my wish list. Um, I have some of these just for cleaning up around. And I have some water. I also got this for my wish list, which is boat zipper and snap lube to put on the zippers on the canvas. So we're going to try and get this in the best repair that we can. We're going to begin by taking off these rusty screws and hope that I don't get tetanus. This and some sponges. So we're just gonna clean, clean, clean. Tomorrow I'm going to reseal the entire roof. mildew cleaner actually works really well. Um, it's a little bit difficult to clean it like this. It would probably be easier to clean it if it's up, but I want the water to drain down my sister's wagon. Which one would you guys choose? Right now, yeah, I'd choose the wagon. <laughs> I am done for today. I didn't do much. I'm feeling nauseated because the scrubbing like that, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I don't like it, but I'm gonna take it piece by piece and I'm not gonna overwhelm myself trying to get everything done all at once. This is the corner when I bought it that he was like, oh yeah, there used to be a leak in that corner, but they sealed it all up. Let me show you the ceiling. 
they just put this canvas tape on it and I'm trying to take it off on this side because it needs to come up in order for me to assess what's going on here. This whole thing was rotted out. Got to do things the right way because they didn't. So we got the corner fixed, now we just got to fix the canvas. So it feels good to be able to work on this just by myself. It's relaxing in a way. It's hard, but. All right, it's time to pull out the ugly clothes. <laughs> because when I was doing, I was cleaning all the mildew off, the mildew remover stuff has bleach in it. So I'm just gonna wear this and now it's, um, I got some of the mildew off, but it's a really hard job and it's really hard to drain. The canvas is just difficult. And I think I'll finish the rest once I get it screwed back up. So until I do that, I wanted to reseal the whole roof. So the first thing I'm gonna do is recalk everything. Right now I only have self-leveling, which sucks because I need the non-self-leveling kind. And I just don't have it right now, but I have so many of these because someone very generously got a lot off my wish list, more than I put on there. And I just feel like I need to use them. And then I'm going to seal it with RV roof sealer so it'll be sealed. So I wanted to show you my idea for the sealing that I really hope works and I just got today. Oh, by the way, do you like my new caulking gun? So a lot of people had a lot of cool suggestions in my comments and thank you again guys for being so kind and helpful and curious. Um, I decided to go with a lighter weight sealing thing that I found. Um, I was also considering, a lot of people said headliner. I was considering that. Someone said burlap like burlap fabric. I thought that was a really creative idea and I was going to do that, but then I found this stuff and I think this will look really pretty. And if it doesn't work, maybe I will try the burlap idea, but I really hope this works. So I got these panels that are very lightweight and they go up just with glue. See how thin they are? And they just go on the ceiling like that. And I thought what I could do with this, because they're so thin, I'll put the Loctite glue on glue them up and then I went ahead and I got one of these staple guns and then I could just staple around and then paint the staples white afterwards. I don't know if it's going to work but if it does it'll look really pretty I think. It might look a little awkward but I don't even care. At least it'll cover up everything. I hope, I hope this will work. I may need to get actually more. I might put one more on but these were about 50 or 60 dollars for 12 2 by 2 12 of these 48 square foot. I don't know how much I need for the ceiling yet, but that's my idea for the ceiling. I, I don't want to mess anything up and I might. And that's the part, that's part of the process, isn't it? So let's go ahead and do some more caulking, which I actually really enjoy. Okay, so I cannot say that this is the sturdiest ladder in the world because it's not. Maybe I'll put a ladder on my wish list. Oh, it is so hot. <laughs> Just hope I don't fall and die. So we're gonna do this first before we put on the seal, the other sealant because we just wanna be sure. I'm already failing, I'm already failing, guys. I accidentally cut off too much so it didn't have thread to hold the nozzle on so now it's just going out everywhere. And who said that you could sweep me away? I ran to the store and got this painting kit to use. Ugh, today I'm just feeling so tired. I don't know why. I feel like that yesterday too. Just like this, just fatigue where I'm just, I think I'm just overwhelmed. There's just like so many different things that I need to focus on and try and do. I don't know. So, one of these bad boys and this. Ugh. So we're gonna add another layer of sealant on the roof. Now this might be kind of difficult cause I don't think I can actually step on the roof. I don't have brute manpower and my fingers and hands are really weak. So doing everything takes me so long. I wanna be this strong can do it all type of girl. But oh my goodness, I'm gonna break myself. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Maybe that wasn't supposed to rip. Okay, so. This actually comes with 
a bag in here. Wow, this stuff smells strong. And this paintbrush. And then all this. Easy enough. I think you just roll it on, and that's just what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Please don't fall and die. Oh, it's making it look so much better. sealing the roof now that took a long time I don't know how long it took I hope that all of that caulking and sealing and sailing really waterproofs that roof because that was a lot of work we had to reconstruct an entire new, entirely new roof and what a boring series this roof series has gone far too long I apologize it's, it's way more boring to me trust me like you just get little snippets I have to like spend hours and hours and hours of my life on this thing obviously to figure out the crank problem still I got paint and bleach everywhere. I need a shower. <laughs> and uh, it, it was very hot today, so. All right, over and out for today. Now we are gonna tackle the ceiling today, I think. Before I put the canvas up, I wanna try and see if my idea will work. Yeah, good and bad news. I should not be allowed to be doing this stuff myself. Good news is this ceiling is actually sticking and I think I can get it all adhered. Bad news is I completely misaligned it. So is this gonna look great? Probably not. Is it gonna cover things? Hopefully. I just wanna make sure that it stays. I measured it first, but then somehow the first tile that I put down just decided to go askew and so the rest are going to be askew. I want to put the first three tiles on just to see where what's going to happen. I'm going to be painting in between everything and making everything more cohesive with that. And this roof is actually very hard to put things on because there's a lot of different textures going on. And that was my main concern about this, this screwing some screws in here and there. I'm stapling some things. Bye. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're looking at. This one was really hard to attach because there's so much going on in the side. I had to actually put a screw into the the, um, the little metal thing right there where the light's gonna be. And yeah, as you can see right in the corner there, I accidentally got it askew. So the rest are askew, but not so terrible that it'll kill me. I just, I'm gonna be painting white underneath, but I wanted to put these three on. I'm not going to put any more on today, just so I can lay out what I'm going to do. Kind of my vision, it's sticking up there, so I don't know, maybe it'll work. Let's not say anything yet. In the next video, I'll have it finished to show you, and we'll go from there. Stay tuned for the next video to see some, some more progress, hopefully getting to make it look prettier on the inside. Stay extraterrestrial. Don't be afraid. Bye. Don't make me mad, don't make me mad